Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on for our next deck, which is going to be Grixis Discard. So as you all know, this is one of my favorite decks to play. Uh, it's just, it's a lot of fun to play. It's, you know, pretty successful also, and it has a, a whole lot of close games. Like there's many games like where it's real close. It looks like maybe we're going to lose, maybe we're going to win and, you know, just kind of pull through. Uh, later on and so it's a it's a fun deck to play because the games are really close I'm making one small change very small change since uh, the last few times I've been playing it recently I've, I've had two cry of the carnarium in the sideboard and one moment of craving I'm switching those numbers putting an extra moment of the craving in the sideboard to get that little bit extra life gain against a uh, mono red and ha even it's even another card against mono blue but really that that extra you know, just a, a tiny bit more life gain against Mono Red. I still am keeping one Cry of the Carnarium, even though I don't like Cry against a lot of decks. It's kind of just for Mono White and Is It Phoenix. But I'm still keeping it in because Phoenix is, is kind of popular these days and is just such a good answer to Phoenix. But um, otherwise, I could see moving to three Moment of Craving. That's one very small change that I'm going to try here, though. So uh, that's what we got. Let's go ahead and make our opponent discard a whole lot of cards. That's, that's our plan. Uh, traditional constructed. Crixus discard. Since it's a discard deck, would you ever think about adding Carnage? I don't think it really needs more discard. I think it has enough. And Carnival is certainly an okay removal spell against some decks, but you know, not isn't very reliable, of course. So we're going first with this hand. At worst, I have Thought Erasure on three that I'm surveilling and looking for a land at worst. At best, if our first card, it has to be our first card on top, is a Shockland or, or a basic Swamp. Just 14 cards in the deck. We could draw an untapped land, and we get to Thought Erasure, then Campaign, then Bolas. And it's, an, it's a perfect curve if we draw, four, you know, we have a 14 and 53 chance to have, like, a perfect curve. Otherwise... Thought Erasure on turn three is basically on the play is basically like turn two on the draw. So we, we're basically just being on the draw. Which is not that bad it, uh, anyway. So I'm going to keep this. <laughs> just played a Nexus of Fates Wilderness Reclamation Gates deck with Teferi. That's somebody just throwing it all together. Throw it, throw it all in there. Okay, so we did not get that 14 out of 53 shot the first time, but we got the second time. Not bad. Now I get to play the campaign first so I can Thought Erasure and pick up campaign. That's tough. I really want Contempt for Alenda. Like, contempting Alenda is pretty nice, but we need land. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to deal with this Alenda yet. Got any lands in here? There we go. We are 26 land deck. Usually we have a pretty decent amount. 
Because I can, I can ritual of sit away the slime foot. And any token the slime foot can make. But right now they can make a token and make the Alenda 3-3. Three, three. So like that, that Alenda is a real clock. Alright, well that made our life easier. So let's just go ahead and do this. And do this. And then we're taking three. And we'll definitely have set next turn. Library. So that deals us two, right? Yeah. So even though we're at eight, we're doing just fine. No fire. We don't have no necessarily steel. the toughest matchup here, but that was a little scary for a little bit there. All right, so their other card is better than more murder. Yeah, they have a pretty cool deck. Maybe they're playing an Abzan Legends. We'll keep Ritual of Soot. Something could happen, like where we. No you need another sweeper, you know, like they have. No steel. They have some things to make a bunch of saplings, kind of thing. Oh, don't tap both my red sources. Auto tap. Yeah, so I thought they had another removal spell. That's why I didn't throw down the bowl list. You just hit, get the camp, use the campaign to get that uh, removal spell out of their hand first. Yeah, see something like that. No fire, no steel. <laughs> uh, Protein says, would you... You guys rec still recommend using Mythic Wild cards for old sets like Dominaria or Ixalan? Uh, basically, those cards will rotate in right around six months from now. Yeah, it's basically right about six months. So if you're going to be using those cards, you know, like a Nicol Bolas, for example, for the next six months, I, I would say not, you know, don't worry too much about them rotating because that's Shiver still a long time to hammer. you know use the cards have that that entertainment no fire um play the no decks that you want all that kind of stuff like that's that's a long time so if there's something specific that you want to play i'd say go for it I'll just activate Escanta, I guess. No fire, no steel. So we're one point away from playing like new Angrath.
So they're just dispersal during their draw step. Ah, they drew an instant. Oh well. But I was going to make them discard their card in their draw step. No fire, no steel. <laughs> no fire, no steel. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this before. You're just fuel. No fire, no steel. <laughs> just no fire, no steel, over and over. <laughs> and Grath March of the Multitudes. Yeah, that was that's something you don't see too often. Alright, let's get this cry in, a couple of moment of cravings. I'm gonna take out the duress. And uh, Ral is it Viceroy maybe? Could probably use a Ral. What am I taking out though? Maybe I don't actually need the moment of cravings. Yeah, this is probably just fine. Just take out duress for cry. Could certainly cut down on disinformation campaign. But I like it. I'll just keep it the same. I guess I could probably... Actually, this matchup... Probably play the Ral over the third Angrath. Honestly, here. <laughs> no fire, no steel remix. Vitod featuring Angrath. <laughs> How about a lot of fire, a lot of steel. Hey, what's up, Sway? Yeah, we're gonna have Esper Blink tonight. That'll, yeah, that'll be an exciting one to play new deck there. See how that Lumbering Battlement deck goes. All right, what you got? Well, they don't have any cards with relevant text on them, unfortunately. Yeah, I like the duress in the main deck. Uh, biggest thing is, you know, I like how the, the deck is designed with... Hmm... gonna play this card. Even though usually I'd probably want to just like Discovery plus Ascanta. Sorry, so I like how the deck's designed against Sultai and the duress the point of the duress is to be able to play before you play a Bolas or an Angrath like that so that your Bolas doesn't get murdered like we just saw there. That's the point of having the, the duress in the main deck. Because it's still good late game with this style deck because your opponent would have their removal in hand still in the late game. Do you think you're favored against Mono Red? No. Your life's about to end. Hope you're ready. Sapling duplicate? Quasi duplicate with like sapling stuff? I'll carve it out of existence. All right, opponent, if you're watching this later, next time, kill the Ascanta. The Ascanta is the more important card than Disinformation Campaign. Just always. 
You ever have those two cards on the battlefield with your Braska? Do you want to kill one? I'll just take the Contempt. I mean, Contempt's just such a good card. Just not a reason not to keep Contempt. It seems fortune favors you. I don't need that one. So, Ar Arbitrage says, or asks, why is Angrath preferred over Ral? Saying the plus on Ral is better. The minus kills you know fire, more reliably. No the ultimates both end the game. What gives? I would say that your first two assessments would, would be the incorrect ones. I believe that Angrath's plus is better for this deck. And that Angrath's minus kills more things than Ral's minus. And that's the, the big problem is Ral's minus not killing cards. Specifically Hydroid Krasis. Angrath is just so good against Hydroid Krasis. And I do like Angrath's plus quite a bit. Is it better than Ral's? No, well, actually, no probably not. But I think they are both... Very good, but I like I like Angrath's minus much much more than Ral's minus. No fire, no steel. The other thing is playing this deck has games that go very long. The big problem, the reason why Ral's plus. Like, the big vulnerability to Rouse Plus is that it mills you out pretty quickly. And I've played too many games with this deck where I have either milled myself or, like, either milled myself out because of Ral, milled over too many win conditions, I couldn't win the game anymore. Um, I've had it where so many times where I just can't even plus Ral anymore because I, I can't, you know, I can't mill anymore. This game takes a, or this deck takes a no long time fire, to win. And no steel. Rouse, uh, plus is a vulnerability. At times. That's the big problem with Rouse. It's it's the big reason why I'm, I don't play Rouse. Shrapnel, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. And that's getting our sub battle countdown down even farther. That thing has reach. That's annoying. All right. Obviously, I should have just taken that with. I either should have just killed it first. No fire. Or no steel. Taking it with Angrath, either one. So I'm giving them another draw step. All right, and we are one and O. Oh. Yeah, it's the, the cost of multitasking there. I think there was another question here that I was looking for. Oh, there was. I guess not. Correct. Yeah, that's our that's the big po point of our deck is reducing the amount of resources our opponent has access to. 
And Angrath does that very well. I should be playing Dragon Skull Summon here. Get a Black Source down. I definitely want to play a red. I should play Dragon Skull Summon. Red, black. Carnage Tyrant's going to be tough. Arbitrage, I've been I've been playing this deck a ton ever since like this format. And I have never wanted I don't know if that's true, never wanted, but I can certainly tell you that um Angrath has been a lot better than Raoul would be, just in general. There is an argument for the first Ral over the third Angrath. That's like the the one argument that could be that could certainly be viable. But Angrath has been very important to being why this deck is so good. Because like cards like Angrath are important to like keep their land count low so they can't play like cards like Carnage Tyrant. So Coil, I need a Coil here, right? Or do I just take the 10? I guess I just take the 10 and Ritual of Soot next turn. I guess I was planning on Coiling. Sorry, I was just kind of talking and stuff. This is, yeah, so that's the problem. That's the problem here. I should have just, you know, not played the Drowned Catacomb. Could have played this Steam Vent, so now I'm gonna have to shock and take another two points of damage when I didn't need to a little bit ago. So I, I'm taking two unnecessary points of damage here if I would have thought about that first. Dang it. That's a 4-3 Jade Light. 4-3 Jade Light's annoying. No, Logistics, man, I've I spent money on the game. I've been playing it for a while, though. But... Uh, I don't want to trade Bolas for Jade Light. Maybe I do. All those cards are great. See, like right now, I'd much rather, like, I'd love to have an Angrath. I'd rather have an Angrath than a Rao. Unfortunately, I just can't play. I can't play Bolas right now and have them draw a landing Vivian Reed and kill my Bolas. Ev, I've seen things that would break someone like you. Not dead yet. Alright, hoping to draw a land here and be able to flip Bolas. So I can grab a Carnage Tyrant to block this Carnage Tyrant. If one doesn't own four copies of Bolas, would a mix of two Bolas and two Rekindling Phoenix work also? Yeah. Yeah, it's not not a bad mix there. Ugh. Gross. That was horrible.
I I would not want to play less than four bolus. It is the most important card. I would play five or six boluses if I could. This did not work out. Carnage Tyrant is certainly a problem for my deck. Also, that that unnecessary two points of damage that I took earlier cost, you know, potentially cost me that game. Potentially. But Carnage Tyrant is, is certainly a problem for the deck. Uh, the deck looked different last format when Carnage Tyrant was not... Or when Carnage Tyrant was a lot bigger. Um had different things, you know, like, instead of the Arch of Araska, I had Detection Tower, and then I had, would have, like, some Star of Extinctions in the sideboard and everything. But the thing is, not many people play Carnage Tyrant these days, and so sometimes we do run into people to play Carnage Tyrant, and it's a real big problem. And yeah, there's there's a lot of things that we could be doing to, to make Carnage Tyrant not as big of a problem, but playing cards like Eldest Reborn and Playcrafter and things like that are just not good in other matchups and I don't have him in the deck because of that when you're playing a, a deck like Grixis you can't be good against every single thing in the format and so there's you know you have to kind of pick and choose your battles and Carnage Tyrant's not really one that I'm winning Why no Eldritch Reborn in the sideboard? I don't think it's better than any other sideboard cards we have. I think it's very expensive. Five mana. It's basically only good in this matchup when they have, like, Carnage Tyrant and nothing else kind of thing. They could have, like, a few other creatures they sacrifice at the same time. They could just have Vivian in play that just destroys it right after a sacrifice. not bad versus Esper Control. I don't know. It's a 5 mana sorcery speed card. Very easy to counter. I, would, I wouldn't... like. I like the 60 that I'm putting together against Esper Control more than having Eldritch Reborn. Like, I would not have Eldritch Reborn against Esper Control. Like, I mean, it, if I could have, like, for example, like if I had 16 cards in my sideboard and I just had a... And Eldest Reborn in my sideboard as well. I would not be bringing it in. So we do not need this Blood Crypt. Keep Discovery just to use next turn. I want both of these cards if my opponent has if my opponent has a discard effect. I don't want them to see the nickel bolus. Hmm. So they likely have find finality. But I think that's okay. Hmm. Another crisis. So 
that could certainly be an overuse of a spell there with that lava coil for sure. Oh, dang it. Vivian's a huge problem. Yeah, Sultai's a, a tough one. They they do a good job out grinding us. It's a, it's a tough one to win without our campaigns. Like this is this is kind of the matchup for a disinformation campaign to to try to help out grind and get like some more of these cards out and everything. Oh, very nice. Uh, yeah. Campaign and Angrath, pretty important Just here. Like Those before. are like our real card advantage engines. Because the. That's why Angrath is so good is this matchup, they they don't really run out of cards. <laughs> and so Angrath's tick up is is honestly very good. So they they don't run out of the cards. Alright, really hoping they didn't find an answer to, to Bolas here. Because we get to flip Bolas next turn. We'll see what they got. Hopefully not a, an answer to Bolas. That's a tough one. My power is boundless. The dead shall The bulls will die me. to the crisis. At least we'll be able to get rid of their carnage tyrant. A little strange them not trading Carnish Tyrants. Hmm. So that could also get rid of a Carnish Tyrant. Or I can Discovery and look for something for the Krasis. It's Discovery. How many ritual sets do I have left? I've cast two so far, right? So we have two left. It's a little late for these. I could take these and just... There's no really point in keeping the second one. Oh my gosh, I don't have two black? Oh my gosh, I don't have two black. I really need to stop doing this auto tap stuff at times. Man, last turn we took. Last game we took an extra two damage is gonna kill us. Now this is gonna kill us. Not being able to cast this. Because I would be I would just bedevil the, the Krasis, block the Jade Light. Take the seven, but the jade light would be out of here. You know, but now we're taking nine, and we still have to deal with the other jade light. The jade light gets to hit us, and we have to deal with it. Or, I mean, well, ten total, of course, but. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, that was ugly. It's going to be kind of tough anyway with them being, like, they were still going to be able to get back a uh, Carnage Tyrant or, um, or like a Krasis that was going to be big. That was going to be tough. So one and one. <laughs> you think auto tap's going to get somebody at the Invitational? <laughs> Probably. Thoughts on gate decks in the current metagame? I think they're pretty good. I don't know whether Nexus Gates or non-Nexus Gates are better positioned. Um, I don't. I don't know what that link would be, Drake. I'm not. I'm not in the Invitational myself. All right, so this is our turn to try to take the. Uh, all right, they didn't have the the three mana thing. Guild summit. That's the card I'm thinking of. All right, so gate break, gate breaker ram is kind of big, but we'll have a contempt for it the next turn. We'll, we can take a hit from it. Once we just hope our opponent does not draw Guild Summit. Good, that's not a Guild Summit. Good. So next turn I'm, I'm casting Contempt. The turn after that I'm casting Bolus, likely, or maybe another Contempt. Let's, I think I'm going to keep this. I don't think they're playing a counter spell, but not really a reason to do that on our turn instead of their upkeep. Except for saving clicks. Which isn't the worst reason. Honestly, I should... There's a good chance that I should just be casting Discovery here and waiting a little bit. Like, one, we know they have, like, that island to discard. Two, if I wait till next turn, we'll at least we'll have the seven mana and be able to flip Bolas right away. The thing is, I need Bolas to survive this turn and next turn to be able to transform it, which is harder to do. Ah, that's another reason to wait. Yeah, we're running back quasi dupla ooze up next. So, still a good chance that they have another land in hand. You know, they haven't stopped playing lands kind of thing. I think I'm fine with next turn being able to double spell with the Thought Razor and Bolus, the same, both the same turn. Um. So biggest thing, 
so like I'm gonna play Bolas this turn. Next turn I'm gonna be transforming Bolas. I don't think I need the campaign by by then. It's possible that I do though. The biggest thing I'm worried about, of course, is Guild Summit. All right, so that one's a little annoying. So I'm definitely still gonna transform this while I can. But now I need to minus instead of tick up. You shall taste but against a gates deck that's you know pain. full of like gates of blazes and things like that, I definitely want to get the planeswalker in play. Well, so Nicol Bolas is going to be our card draw at the plus two. I'm going to be I'm going to be I'm going to be doing the plus two here each turn and drawing two cards uh, from now because even if they play another creature, we'll contempt it. So Sway, I think those kind of cards make campaign better. Not re not really search, but like Krasis, Guild Summit. Not really Guild Summit either. Basically Krasis. I think Krasis does make camp disinformation campaign better because they're more likely to have more cards in hand that you're making them discard. Cards that can rep repeatedly... And even Search for Escanta... Campaign's very good against Search for Escanta because you, if you're discarding lands to campaign, you're not going to have as many... Like, if you don't have as much mana, Escanta, when it's flipped, is a lot tougher, you know? Like, if, if it's hard for you to activate and, and do other things. Campaign's good there, too. Anyway, we're playing against Gates. I want Thief, Duress and Negate, and Ral. kind of want all this stuff. I don't want Coil. I want that back. I don't want what else don't I want? Maybe I don't need all these duresses, but it's really like guild summits like the thing. The thing is duress can help protect thief. Um I don't know, I'm on the draw, maybe I just don't go thief plan. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm fine not going Thief Land on the draw. Oh, let me try this. Yeah, Thief doesn't have the best hits, does it? It's just a way for us to, to win under Guild Summit, because Guild Summit just goes over the top of us, and we can't stop it. Guild Summit's such a problem, and so Thief is a way to go under it. But it, it doesn't have the best hits, that's that's for sure. I would the other thing is they're likely gonna be boarding out Gates of Blaze kind of thing. Hmm. I wish our mana was better. I like this hand quite a bit. It doesn't stop our an early ram. We are on the draw where we have, you know, our our 26 lands. We have 15 untapped lands that we could draw for our first two draws. The big problem is we, we don't stop a ram. Hmm. But this card is really nice. Like, this is the reason why I definitely think about keeping the card is because of Discovery. I think I can keep it. I think we got to land on top, and we'll get going. It doesn't do literally nothing. We we can cast Discovery with black mana. You don't need blue mana to cast Discovery. Discovery's good at digging. The problem is it may be a turn 3 Discovery, of course, and not a turn 2 Discovery.
But saying the hand does literally nothing is not a correct statement. We have velocity to turn through the deck. A couple unfortunate cards to put into the graveyard. There's a, those are a couple of cards that I would like to have access to. Swamp can turn on like Drowned Catacomb, potentially. Turn three discovery is definitely slow. That you know that was our worst case scenario, and that's that's what happened there. Our deck's not necessarily fast. It's not like we do things pretty fast anyway. Ugh. All right, and there's the best card against us. One of the best cards in the format against us. Especially how I'm using these discoveries and not dispersal. Well, this is kind of ridiculous. Hmm. Still haven't found a blue land. I think I have 16 blue sources in the deck. So it's not like I have a abundance, but 16 is not bad. You'd think you'd see one in the first 17 cards, but we haven't yet. A little cheeky no. And... Not really. Contempt will keep us in the game for a little bit, but with Guild Summit on the other side, not likely for too long. So, like, waiting till their upkeep means they tap, like, their mana for, like, a negate on their turn. I don't know if they'd have, like, a, a card that would cost more than two for a counterspell, maybe. And, therefore, it would be better to use on my turn. They have cast down in their deck. That doesn't do very much. Yeah, options are either Angrath, Steel, or just start campaigning. I mean, I guess it's Angrath, Steel. The, the problem with Angrath, Steel is like these, these campaigns are just in such a bad spot for us that we Angrath, Steel, they play another creature, and I have nothing for said other creature. Especially if that other creature is a ram. What if I should play Bolus? Bolus trade with Krasis. It's like something the Bolas can trade with. There's not very much in their deck. I want to save Angrath minus for a Ram. I, I doubt they have Coil. Like if they have if they have Cast Down in their deck, I don't think they'll have Coil. That'd be kind of weird to have Coil and Cast Down. Post sideboard. The other good part about playing Bolas is it does use a blue source. You know, cost blue mana. Obviously, I'm bottlenecked on blue mana here. Right, 
Well, I guess we're stealing that crisis. Hmm. Or I could, like, double campaign. I don't know. This doesn't look good. Guild Summit's just such a huge problem. Did have coil. How am I dealing with this Colossus? What's the problem? Is this Colossus? Oh, and a Ram? Never mind. Ram's a problem, too. So I need to hit Ritual of Set here. That's not Ritual of Set. They're going to keep Cast Down, Coil, Gates of Blaze. So they're going to keep all those cards in. I don't hate my chances. I just scroll down some needy rat for the list for quasi dupe lose. It's from a few days ago. Hmm. I like having the. I like having the negate for. I like being able to counter Guild Summit. That card is. You know, such a problem as we talked about. And. The Devil can handle a Ram. Correct. Zero Eldest Reborn. Dang. So obviously my best play right now is playing Disinformation Campaign, but then if I play Campaign and then they play Summit, that's a problem. Against Nexus, I'd bring in all the duresses. Every duress. Um, negate, Thief of Sanity. Take out all the removal spells. Still have cast down in their deck. It's unfortunate that my opponent's discarding cast down. I'm cool if they discard something else. Could certainly have expansion here that we saw last last game, but I wouldn't 
yeah, I don't mind trading an expansion really there. I have two cards in hand. Oh, and Grath. Thank you. You're amazing. No fire, no steel. Okay. So even though Dispersal could get rid of a Guild Summit, Guild Summit they can only draw like three cards. And next turn we could have like Angrath take up to have him discard one, Campaign make him discard one, Bolus make him discard one. We can probably basically clear out their hand even if they have, if they have that. Discard Guild Summit. Guard Summit. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Alright. No Summit, please. Okay, well, that's annoying. No fire. I have to minus no my steel. bolus again. Of course, I could dispersal that, but I want to get Bolus Planeswalker going. No kneel before me. So we could deal eight to them by stealing that. I haven't got a Legion's pack. Oh, I've heard two today. Let's try. Let's see what we got. Ah, gems. Just 20 gems. Could we get more than that? There's still some mythics I don't own. Nope. 20 gems. <laughs> All right, so two and one. Yeah, unfortunately, we got all the rares now from all the different packs. So buying packs just doesn't doesn't do a whole lot for us anymore. So why are Gates playing black net low now? Like, why is that's two Gates opponents in a row that we've seen that have black? Just for cast down? It's like the only thing we saw. Obviously, you know, it's a. Presumably they have. Duress as well. But. Oh well, next game. Uh, you know, with this kind of hand with double Ritual of Soot, we're hoping we're playing against some kind of creature deck for these Ritual of Soots. The little Blood Crypt Steam Vents does not seem like this is a creature deck for Ritual of Soot, so. This one doesn't look so good for us here, game one. Black is for against red? What does black help you against with red? Like what, what are their, like, cast down? I mean, that's they could already have Lava Coil, which is the same against red. Alright, so yeah, they're playing main deck thief here in this Grixis deck. Oh no, they have Escanta. And I drew another ritual of set. Oh, this is not going well. Ah, uh, moment of craving and Vras's contempt. Okay. For some life game. Is that I can't I can't really imagine that's better than just playing white, though.
Hmm. It's pretty likely that Angrath gets countered, right? Problems I'm just playing into their Ascanta by not playing Angrath. The reason not to play Angrath is because we could draw a discard spell. That is so good for us. They presumably have just fuel for the fires of a contempt. They're willing to do that. <laughs> yeah, drawing three of the four rituals really sucks in this matchup. Like, the one card that's, like, dead. This is, of course, a good matchup for Eldritch Reborn. You don't see it too much, but this is... This matchup is a great reason to be playing Eldest Reborn. Ah, you play Black and Gates so you can have Masterminds acquisitions. So they're going to have their own Thiefs. Which, of course, we saw there that game. <laughs> Maybe I don't play Thief. Certainly best to be the control deck in the matchup, where our opponent had the Escanta, they get to be the control deck there. It's certainly best to have like Escanta going. Like I wanna have Escanta, disinformation campaign, one of those cards. Uh, so I'm going to try to be very proactive. And especially here on the play, not play very many reactive spells, just the three negate, three removal spells. Arch is certainly a little awkward here, keeping this hand because of Ascanta, obviously. Shock that in so that if we find a drowned catacomb, we can have some black mana next turn. JGR says I've been using the mono black zombies in best of one. Went all the way, went through all of platinum in two evenings. Just wrapped up diamond four. No signs of slowing down either. That is awesome. How are you? How are you doing against the mono red matchup? I I would think that the mono red matchup would be really tough. But you're doing you're doing great with it. Fortunately, the opponent has Ascanta as well. So even though we have one of our very best cards with Ascanta, so does our opponent. 
But the problem is I don't have black man and my opponent does. So they're ahead right now. They have both their different colors for mana. And I don't. Okay, so mono red is the worst match, but if you curve out well, you can pull out the the W there. Okay. Interesting. So our opponent did not want me to have duress, which then ref you know makes the ref refers the negate is good. Another mana trouble game. Unfortunately, the last time we had the mana trouble game, we were up a game during game two, so it wasn't that big a deal. This time we were down a game, and so much worse for us. Unfortunately, I was trying to, uh, you know, be aggressive with, like, the cards like Campaign and stuff and not try to play from behind. But our mana trouble, unfortunately, has caused us to be behind. And I don't know if there's catching up for us. We'll see. That would have been a really good pocket for my opponent to hit with Thief of Sanity. But now they'll probably hit all the spells. So it looks like we're losing a mirror here. But our, our big advantage that we have going for us is that we have a good mana advantage. My opponent did discard the Catacomb to the campaign. <laughs> yep, they found all the spells. They took something over Bolus and Contempt. So nothing really to protect my thief. I can dispersal their thief. But not for a little bit. Took something over Discovery that time. Ah, took a Discovery. Yeah, they took Negate over Bolus. Which seems a little odd. I think my opponent, my opponent likely has like those Elder Reborns sitting in their hand. We saw them play a bunch of Elder Reborns last game, so playing like my Thief. Probably doesn't do a whole lot for me. You could certainly have counter magic as well.
Like, taking their time. Come on, we're pretty dead. Just play your cards. You can do it. There you go. Looks like we're going to be two and two. So I think I'm looking for... Hey, thank you, Cobb. Looking for Thought Erasure. Duress can kind of do it. I guess Angrath. Angrath resolves. Never seen water burn your crew for my freedom. <laughs> A fair Thank you, Cobb. Getting that hype in the channel there. Carnival, really? What's Carnival doing? Keep that sub battle countdown going down. So of course Nickel Bolas is the best thing to get back with Angra or with uh, Eldest Reborn. They only have my Nickel Bolas though. Oh, I guess there is an Angrath also. Never mind, Angrath is probably the best thing to get. That kills us really quickly. No, Kaiju, I'll be playing the, the same Ooze the same Ooze deck. So I'm gonna play it play it one more time and I know you're talking about wanting a cyborg guide for that, and so I'm gonna play it again tonight and then I'll grab the cyborg guide after that, making sure that I like that list, but playing the same list again, because I liked it last time. And make sure there's nothing I really want to change. A lot of card draw. Oh no, don't tap both my swamps. Why do I never pay attention to that? That was a bad auto tap. All right, Jelly. Thanks for that, taking that number one spot on the cheer leaderboard. <sighs> I need to start auto tapping better. Because now Angrath makes me discard this Bedevil. I'm in big trouble. It's cost. It's keep it keeps costing me games here. I don't know if we're winning this anyway, but it would certainly be nice if I could be able to cast a bedevil. Because yeah, the best thought, the best having for that Escanta is using the arch, you know, in two of these blue red lands because the black man is so valuable, especially when they had the thought erasure already. Here be monsters, no fire. No steel. So unfortunately, it looks like we're going to get a 2-2 here. Lost one to Sultai, which certainly happens. And then lost to Mir, where our opponent is all about those Eldest Reborns, which is very good in this matchup. Like, this is a matchup where Eldest Reborn is amazing. So, yeah, you may you may think, you know, why aren't you playing all these Eldest Reborns? Look how good they are. Well, it's because I'm not playing a whole lot of Mirror matches. Ultraborn is awesome here in the mirror. 
And if we just... If we could have found our, our black source by turn three, you know, with our Escanta, and got to start disinformation campaigning on turn three, I like our chances, even in this game. Campaign is so powerful early. Just didn't get to really see that, of course. All right, we got our 20 gems. Not bad. Hey, Hawkeye. So two and two. Which is certainly reasonable. You know, mirror matches are, especially with, with somebody playing a card so impactful like Eldritch Reborn, that's going to be kind of a toss-up. Sultai has always been a toss-up. Didn't come through for us. Mana was a, was a problem today. Yeah, it was more of a problem than it usually is. Yeah, done absolutely. Absolutely. The still my least favorite card in the sideboard is probably the Ral. That's still been something that I've been trying out recently against for like the Sultai matchup or for control. Um that could certainly be something else. Our Sultai opponent did have a bunch of Carnage Tyrants, too. That made it a lot harder than it usually is. Besides that, I'm I'm happy, still happy with the main deck. Still happy with the sideboard, except for Ral. Uh, we didn't get to play, you know, get to use any Moment of Craving. I don't... There's nothing that I really love more than Ral and stuff, anyway. I have 26 lands in here. Because I, I don't usually like getting mana screwed in this kind of deck because we, we certainly need to hit four lands and the campaigns also help us draw and everything. And as you can tell, black is the color that I have the most of. I have the two black basics. And so that was pretty unfortunate getting stuck on not having black mana for the first, you know, like six turns or whatever that last game. So there we go. What deck... Uh, Drawd asks what deck can beat Sultai and Esper while not failing against white and red. Uh, Sultai. Sultai is good against. Or can beat all those things, at least. Sultai is the best deck in the format, in my opinion. Um, I, think this, I think this deck here is good against... Or, like, you know, can beat Sultai. You know, it's 50-50-ish. I think it's very good against Esper... The problem is I don't think it's very good against red. And white is not spectacular either. It's not as good against those ones. Great Currywurst, thank you so much for the sub there. Getting that resub in. Keeping that hype going. Um, it says, really enjoying your stream and your YouTube videos. Still waiting for Mardu Legends. Ooh, yeah. Mardu Legends is a deck we need to make, isn't it? So thank you so much, Great Currywurst. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.